Esther, no. look at me. It's Eddie Miller. It's Eddie. You killed Samuel! When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who's the only pirate to stay and fight, hmm? Stay away from her, you monster! What is up guys, welcome back to Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. So guys, you know what I realized? Like, you know how Robert, Veronica's father, like, came to meet Dr. Lomas last time? But Dr. Lomas knows Robert from before, right? Because that was who he was, who she was messaging, like, when she was in her hotel room, remember? So, like, if Robert and the doctor are together, like, it's going to make it really weird between the sheriff and, like, those three, right? Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, uh, I think we are in a memory in Veronica's like uh, when she was like a small child and this was about some dog which she put in a pool, right? So let's see what the object... Oh, we don't have any objectives, right? So let's see if we can examine any stuff around here. We got this table. Mm. It doesn't seem to give me any options. Let's walk around and see. So this is, I think, how she got that piece of glass that she had in like the previous memory. Oh, we can check out the door. And let's just say that, God forbid, you fell off the slide and hurt yourself. Wouldn't your daddy tell that person that they couldn't take you to the park anymore? Oh, shit. Right, she's gonna intentionally hurt herself so that, like, her babysitter gets, like, fired or something, I think. Get rid of Mary, hurt myself because of Mary. Okay, so let's see what we can do. And throw it on myself and say it was Mary. Let's see. Hmm, it wouldn't hurt me that bad. And how would I blame her? Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see what other options we have. So dude, she has been this way since like when she was a child. That's crazy. So like we can't really blame her too, dude. Like cause it's her condition that's making her do this stuff, right? Glasses. I could cut myself with a broken glass, but she'd have to be the one to break it. Uh-huh. So how is she going to make her break it? Knives? Yes. A nice big cut would do, but it'd be hard to blame her for it. Mm-hmm. And have we got anything else? Nothing on the countertop. Wait, so haven't we checked all of the room? Like we know it's something to do with the glass, right? But she said like uh wait, can we go out somehow? No, we can't. So what do we do? Oh, here we go. Glass cupboard. Gee, why do they always set everything up for the grown-ups? Mm-hmm. So maybe she can climb on a stool and get to the glass cupboard? Let's see. Take it to the glass cupboard, yeah. So I wonder how big a cut it's going to be. Alright, she's up there. Let's open the cupboard. And what's this? Fruity glass. Place it so that it falls when you open the cupboard. Uh -huh. Oh shit. Okay, so maybe now she will tell her that she need like, she asked what the girl needs to eat, right? So, Veronica, what would you like to eat? I want a PBJ and a Juicy Red in my Fruity glass. Oh, a PBJ and a Juicy Red in the Fruity glass. Everything tastes better in that Fruity glass, doesn't it? <gasps> Oh, oh, 
what a klutz. I'm sorry, honey. Uh, um, mm, let me get the broom. Don't you move a finger until I clean this all up, okay? I'll get you another glass just like that one before you even know it. They sell them at the... Oh, look! That must be your daddy. But how's she gonna cut herself, though? Uh. Mm. All right, so we are in control again, so what do we do? So are the glass pieces still here? Wait, what's this? Trash can? Oh, no. Please don't do it. I mean, she is gonna do it, right? Cause it's a memory. Come on, man. Mm, so how is she gonna do it? Oh, maybe she's gonna put it in the food? Chair, yeah. Mary, what's up? How's my little girl? She's fine, thank God. But I need to talk to you about something a bit... Well, a bit sensitive. No. <laughs> w? No! <laughs> Fuck. Daddy, will it leave a scar? Did you know that most brave little girls have scars? Now you'll have one too. And you know what else? It'll be shaped like a V. V for Veronica? Yeah, V for Veronica. Daddy? Is Mary bad? No, no. It's just... Don't you worry about it, honey. We'll find a better babysitter. No one will ever scold you again without a good reason. I love you so much, Daddy. Okay, so that was this car that they were talking about. This car on the right glued. Fuck, dude. So I think that is the end of the memory, right? So maybe we are going back to the sheriff and them. Oh no, we are going back to Ed. Where did you build it, Samuel? Find Samuel's bunker, all right. So before we go into the house, uh, can we explore like the surroundings? I guess we can, right? Yep, we can, all right. Let's check out the tractor. Oh, that's the chest piece. Oh, wait, is this the chest piece that it gave him? Knowing you, nothing in that bunker was left to chance. You bet. I'll show you the blueprints one of these days so you can see for yourself. I think they must still be somewhere in the barn. Anyway, thanks for the chest piece, son. I'm gonna put it somewhere special.
Oh, okay, yeah. So that is what I was wondering how, like, if Ed gave him the chess piece, how it ended up in Ed's place again. So Ed must have, have had two of them, right? So one of them is the one that's on the tractor. Right, what's this? Samuel's car? Woman, you're spoiling that boy rotten with all that junk he sees on TV. Ed, tomorrow you and I are going fishing. But I don't want to kill little fishies. <laughs> Did you hear the boy? He doesn't want to kill. Samuel, let him be. Here you go. You're juicy blue, honey. Someday, you'll be a real man and we'll go fishing together. Come on, finish up that junk. I want to see if you can at least beat me at chess. <laughs> Nice people, dude. Samuel and Esther. Mm, have we got anything else in the car? Nope, we can't. So I guess we'll go around checking like the same way we did with uh, uh, the sheriff when we came here. Because then we can check everything in order, right? So there's nothing on here. But why can't we run? I guess it doesn't want to run. Oh, there's something here. Side of the barn. Oh, is this where the bunker is? Bunker entrance could be anywhere. Can't hurt to try. Nope. Doesn't sound hollow or metallic. Okay, so it's not here, right? Let's keep checking. Oh, I wonder how the horse is doing. I hope it's fine now that the sheriff has fed it. But how long ago did the sheriff feed it? Like, was it a really ti long time ago? Just a couple of days, I don't know. Let's first check this area before we go into the bar. This is where the hay bales and stuff are kept. Oh, what's this side of the barn? Yeah. No. Doesn't seem to be here. Maybe it's under the barn? I'm not sure. What's this? Was this here before when I came with the sheriff? I don't remember. Maybe it was. Alright, let's go into the barn. Let's see how our horse is doing. Say it. Okay, but then off to the shower with you, or your mom won't let you come over. When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who is the only pirate to stay and fight? Captain Roberts, who knows no fright. One more time. When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who is the only pirate to stay and fight? Captain Roberts, who knows no fright. One more time. No, no, no. Captain Roberts needs to head to the sink. So much swashbuckling <laughs> is making him stink. <laughs> All right, that was a cool memory. Mm, let us check the stuff over here. Let's start from here. There's nothing in this cubicle. Alright, let's check Horsey. Frankie Lane. Hmm. You miss them too, don't you, old pal? You look well. You've got fresh water. You're nice and clean. Who's taking care of you? Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> Alright. So I wonder what would have happened, like, when we, uh, if we didn't help the horse in the first part. Maybe the horse would be dead when we come here, like, this time? I don't know. Now we've got some fruits. Baskets, yep. Yeah. They are rotten now. I don't think the horse can eat them anymore. 
Alright, so there's nothing else. Let's go upstairs. Mm. So when the sheriff went upstairs, he found some gloves or something, right? So let's see what uh, what's this blueprints. I think those blueprints are still somewhere in the barn. Oh, are these the blueprints to the bunker? I think we found it. Anybody there? Sheriff? Steel hammer, knife, oh shit, we need to choose a weapon, right? Uh, so, uh, what would be the most Powerful weapon out of this. Not the wooden hammer, obviously. I don't think the saw is that powerful either. It's the steel hammer or the knife, right? Mm. Let's go with the knife because we can cut somebody with it. Yeah. Of it is it afraid of heights? Oh. Give me a reason. Hey, come on. Chill. Ugh. Wait, that was the guy working with the sheriff. Robert. She was two years old when I adopted her. I had always thought. I'd be compensated somehow for not seeing her birth. And yet, I've seen her die twice. Mr. Carrigan, I beg you. You don't know what it's like to lose your daughter, Sheriff. Reply? Let Julia handle it. Mm. Do we reply here? Mm, I don't... I'll guess we'll let Julia handle it. The sheriff knows what you're going through. I wish I could spare you the pain. I help you get over this. It's just like last time. Do you remember the breath work we did? I guess I'll, sh I'll say the sheriff knows what you're going through because the sheriff also lost somebody, yeah? Sheriff Reyes knows what it's like to lose a daughter. In fact, he relived the experience not too long ago. Sorry. I... I can't, Julia. I just can't. This whole time, she was alive. Not a single call in eight years. It can't be her. Robert. No. No. Why would she call me? She hated me ever since I had her committed. How did she die? What was she doing all these years? Was she happy? Reply, let Nick candle it. Uh, 
That's like Nick Hadley. Tell him the truth. Sugarcoat the truth. Tell him a white lie. I guess we'll tell him the truth. He deserves to know the truth, yeah? Her mental health got worse after she was discharged from the hospital. She spent all those years planning her revenge against Miller. She had no qualms about removing anyone who got in her way. She wanted to drive him crazy, but her plan failed. As for how it all ended, we're still not sure why, but she fell off the Brody Canyon Bridge and, due to the extreme height and the fact that it took us a while to find her body, her face might... No. Perhaps the scar we mentioned might be more helpful when it comes to identifying her. That's really all we need. All right. So let's see if it's really her. Wait, what if isn't? What if it isn't really her? I guess it is, right? It has to be. Why? 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 Oh no. If you care about those fingers you write with, you better start explaining why. Why? Adam. Please. Why did you kill my uncle? We were both victims. Faye killed him. The sheriff and Dr. Lomas know the truth. Uh, let's go with this. Adam, your uncle was my friend. I didn't kill him. Faye, uh, Veronica did. Bullshit. Veronica, Faye, who pulled the trigger doesn't really matter. You're an accomplice in his death. An accomplice? Adam! You always wanted to get rid of me as a kid and as a grown-up. You took them away from me. You stole their love. Fishing. Chess. The shared afternoons. You took them away from me. And you still weren't satisfied. You wanted the ranch. But I was going to inherit it, wasn't I? You wanted to threaten him to change his will, but never had the balls to. Because you've never had the balls to do anything. Your little friend did the dirty work for you, and it all got out of hand. She killed my uncle, and you killed her for screwing up. Out of rage to tie up any loose ends. Adam, that's insane. I'm done. Oh. Did you kill oh. my uncle? Adam, I didn't. I don't care who pulled the trigger. Did you kill my uncle? I know where you're. Did you kill my uncle? Yes, no. Uh, I didn't, yeah? I'll go with the truth. No! I had nothing to do with his death. Nothing. You just won't give up, will you? Please don't All do right. it, Adam. You better tell me what I want to know before I lose it. Three. Please don't cut my finger. I know where your aunt is. This is not you. Let's go with this. Your aunt is alive, and I know where she is. What? She's in the ranch bunker. There's no bunker on the ranch. The blueprints are downstairs. I know where the entrance is. How do I know this isn't just a plan for me to let you go? Please don't cut my finger. This is not you. Mm, let's go with this. This is not who you are, Adam Franklin. You're a good man, but if you do this... You asked for ah! it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a bunker. You prove it. Uh, according to the blueprints, it should be here. I think it is there. 
We should hear the sound of metal. <laughs> it's right here. There's no doubt about it. <sighs> Is it her? Did you know that most brave little girls have scars? And now you'll have one too. And you know what else? It'll be shaped like a V. V for Veronica? Thank you, Mr. Kerrigan. <laughs> Adam, finally. Where were you? What? With Miller? Please tell me you didn't. What tractor? Come again? That has to weigh a ton. How did you plan to. We got the key. I'm on my way. I need to go to the Franklin Ranch. Let's catch up later. Sheriff. Can I stay a little longer with my daughter? Mr. Carrigan. Perhaps... Would you like to meet your granddaughter? All right, so but uh, Dev spoke about some key, right? How does the sheriff has, have the key to the tractor? Mm, maybe he took it when he searched the house or something? Find Jenny and Esther, access the bunker. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Please let them be alive, dude. Like, I don't want to find two dead bodies there. Yep, that sure is the bunker. Honey Esther? Can you hear me? There's no sound. Maybe there's a door in the inside too. Maybe we need to open that too. Let's see. Yep, there is a door, right? Auntie, we're going to get you out of there. Okay, let's get this door open now. Come on. Esther, are you okay? It's me, Oni. I'm Adam, your nephew. Stay away, monster! Oni, it's okay. Put the knife down. Stay away! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Ah! Ah! Oh. 
Oh no. He said I'm okay. Go get her. Just find Jenny and Esther, that's done, right? Three Chester, okay. Is she gonna jump off the barn? I hope she's not. Please don't do anything stupid, Esther. Esther, look at me. It's Eddie Miller. It's Eddie. You killed Samuel! When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who's the only pirate to stay and fight, hmm? Stay away from her, you monster! When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, who's the only pirate to stay and fight? Captain Roberts, who knows not fright? When the ship sinks and the rats take flight, Who's the only pirate to stay and fight, hmm? Captain Roberts, who knows not fright. Eddie! Eddie! Oh, oh, oh. No, please don't. Oh. Give me your hand. Esther, give me your hand. Okay, I think we got her. Jeez, dude. Whew. Okay, Jenny's alive too and she's doing well, nice. Oh, my dear boy. What did I do to you? It'll heal fast. Don't worry. The ambulance is on its way. They'll have to run some tests and... Uh... <sighs> we had all kinds of things. Food and water. You know Sam. Um, Mrs. Franklin, if you could... You know, when you're feeling a little better, maybe you could tell us what happened? I told Sam that it was too late to cross the woods. That he should take the car instead. But he insisted on walking to your house. Okay, so this is what happened with Esther and Samuel, right? How oh, they got in involved in this situation. Before Veronica, throughout my professional career, I have never encountered a more disturbed mind than that of a subject V. To this day, I still wonder if she ever had the slightest chance of finding happiness. The psychopathic mind. Clinical cases. Julia Lomas. He said he wanted to remind you about your fishing plans. But I know that he just wanted to have a beer with you. I was surprised when he came back so soon. He... He wasn't himself. I said, Sam, what's wrong? What did you see? Wait, what's she gonna do?
Is she gonna shoot the baby? Shit, man, I think that's Jenny in the bag. Let's do this tonight. Same time. You better not be late. <laughs> well played, kitty. Wait, what? Well played, kitty? Oh. I don't get it. I told Sam to call the police right away, but you know how stubborn he was. He said he'd tell you the next day when you went fishing. He didn't think much about it. He said a lot of youngsters did target practice in the woods and that she was probably shooting at squirrels. We didn't sleep well that night. Got up earlier than usual. Just before dawn, while we were having breakfast, we heard a car. We thought that was odd. Oh, that is how the cat got in the vehicle, right? So I wonder how Esther escaped, like after she shot Samuel. Maybe Esther attacked Faye with something? Or maybe Samuel held her back and told her to run. E? But that wasn't the case. Sam! Oh my god! She Sam! made me cover him with a blanket. No! And then she dragged me away from him. She locked me up with the baby in the bunker and said she'd be back in a few hours. So maybe she was planning on killing her too after she was done with Ed. But maybe she couldn't do it because she fell off the bridge. But we still don't know how she fell off the bridge though. Sam had installed a phone down there. I tried to call the police, but... I no longer knew what time it was. So... I braced myself for her return. Oh. All right. So how do we know what happened at the bridge, though? Because nobody was there at the bridge, right? How am I going to live without him, madam? What will I do? Well, you could get ready for dinner. Otherwise, Jenny will be asleep when her grandma gets there. Oh, I forgot about Eddie's apple pie. I hope I didn't burn it.
That's sad, man. So this has to be like the end of the game, right? Jenny, sweetheart, tell your daddy to stop writing and come play with him. He's ignoring grandpa. Huh? If you keep that up, you'll finish writing that novel in record time. Maybe. Does 10 years sound record-breaking to you? <laughs> okay, they're playing all these small scenes, dude, but we still don't know what happened at the bridge. Like, when are they going to say that? And how are we going to find that? Oh, maybe. Oh, no, this is between the doctor and the sheriff, I think. Yeah. What's on your mind? This morning, I finally got a call from my acquaintance at the state adoption agency. It seems like the agency that Robert hired for Veronica's adoption hid relevant information about her biological family. What? They molested her. They broke her. They... I don't even want to think about it. Bastards. Does that explain everything? Why she was a psychopath? Perhaps not everything. Yes. Let's go with perhaps. It's possible. Many victims of abuse become abusers themselves. Veronica's trauma ran so deep that not even Robert's love could save her. Perhaps if she had received help as a child, none of this would have happened. I suppose we are all broken in one way or another. We don't all become Veronica, but we're not saints either. I thought you didn't want to interfere with my job. Hey, who's been interfering with mine for the past week? <laughs> is he gonna kiss her? I guess he is. When are you leaving? This afternoon. When I'm done with all the paperwork, uh, if you're not busy, I know there's someone waiting for you in L.A. But Cerro Lake is beautiful this time of year, and, uh... I'm leaving you. The kiss was a mistake. It's... There is someone, but I've given him far too many opportunities. And none to Cerro Lake. We could go back to Mama Louise. There are so many things I haven't tried yet. Okay, so maybe Lou was her boyfriend and maybe Robert wasn't like anything, Robert didn't have anything to do with like being a boyfriend or anything, like maybe he just like talked to her in like that way. Oh, so this is what happened to her I think now. This is what I'm interested in, in dude. Let's see. 
Oh shit! Right. Ah! Well played, Kitty. Fair is fair, bear. I should have slit your throat. I mean, we have to give it to the kitten, right? Well played. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Kitty. Please don't touch her. She's just a baby. Don't touch her. <laughs> She's my damn daughter. Can you point where he touched you on the doll? We found you a new daddy. Do you understand what I'm saying? I love you too, sweetie. To the moon and back. You're not crazy, honey. You're not a bad girl, honey. Will we still be friends when I'm gone? She's your daughter, Ed. Shut up. Wow, dude, that was amazing. <laughs> like good work by Petronius, dude. <laughs> I, I should have guessed it, dude, that the cat should have jumped because I, I even saw the cat, right? Fuck, why didn't I think about it? Shit. <laughs> that was an amazing story, dude. Like it, like it was like we watched a movie or something. Uh, all right, so can we skip this? I guess not. Alright, I'll see you guys at the menu after this day. Alright guys, so we are at the menu screen and dude, I was thinking we can't blame anybody in this for anything, right? Except face like original like biological parents like because it all happened because they molested her when she was a child and stuff, right? That's fucked, dude. Like it wasn't anybody's fault. Wow, like even though the things Fair did were like ruthless and stuff, but it, it's because of that like because of her parents right she like started to do this stuff yeah all right so anyway guys that was alfred hitchcock's vertigo so i'm not sure what i'll be playing next so uh if you enjoyed make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos because i upload almost daily and i'll see you guys in the next one bye